Hey, dog, my, the, my the fracture as such, ah. mm. it got to catch there. Mm. Hey, you saw it as it's there? Yeah, I... After, after I see. Yeah. I, see so, I give him the... So the owner just clean up? No, he want to take this one and then what's that? The owner cleans up. Mm. Can you open the x-ray? Six, six weeks, huh? How long? Before the six, six, weeks. six to eight weeks before six the pin comes out. <coughs> Straker three years, three years old fell from its story. Yeah. Pin has been put in. Very nice cut. Tibia fracture, yeah. Huh? You, you can feel the pin here. Correct. Yeah, I. Really yeah, now here, yeah. Ask correct. him to feel the. The cat also can feel, you know. Mm. How about the cat licking it? What's that? E collar, no. Then after that, you can. Yes, dog mask. Mask. Take it out. Six weeks now. Mm. We'll clean up first. It we'll goes home, yeah. And then the x ray is on. I see the x ray. Yeah. You have the antibiotics with you, mm. To apply. Mm. Yeah, okay. The, yeah, the, the tablets. Okay. I'm going to use the inject point seven. I give them a before I can tell them fresh See the X-ray. Point seven. Mm mm. Nandito yung kanya Today. Ah no, one week Yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this one. Uh. Check the JD pen. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. This one? JD pen. This is the one before, before, before the, the, the pin. You do the surgery? Uh, the overlapping. Uh, uh, yeah. Some overlapping. <coughs> right, right. See how it's See the difference? This is a digital one. Uh, yeah. Okay. The pin. Yeah. The kidney is okay now, the kidney is there, bladder is okay. You can see the bladder. This one that fell? Fell from 8th eight, floor, yeah. From the apartment, yeah. The left on the TBA. Yeah. Yeah, very nicely aligned. Yeah. Very nice, yeah. Huh? <coughs> There's a left one, yeah. See the original one? Before before the pin? Before the pin, uh, domestic short hair cat, yeah. So there was a uh, overlapping oblique fracture, yeah. How about the fibula? Fibula, fibula don't, don't worry, there's no pin. The one doesn't clearly wait. You can see the other side, the fibula there, no? Hmm? No, after the pinning, the fibula is still around. Uh, fibula is also, also broken, yeah. also overlap. Yeah. yeah, correct. Yeah, overlap. Yeah, but how about the after, after <coughs> pinning? No. After the, the next, next image, yeah. The fibula, uh, fibula are also good there. It's been stretched out a bit, yeah, so it will close uh. up. Yeah, the fibula is also mm. quite well and lying on there. The fibula follows the tibia, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, I didn't. This case about three years old, yeah. <coughs> so six weeks, uh, then come back for removal of the pin, yeah. Okay, can go home already. Mm. Still sleeping. Uh. Eight story. Yeah. Oh. Her owner didn't put the wire mesh. Yeah. She had, she was too busy. So I think I was looking at the bird and then try to catch the bird. Yeah.
48 hours after the fracture surgery. Let's see whether the cat can walk or not. The cat has slight fever, 39.6. And uh, but it looks okay. Uh, let's see the leg. Wait, let's see the leg. Uh. Put it back there again. See, back to the door again. Corner there. Uh. Let's observe. Can you put the weight on a bit? Yeah. Can put the weight on a bit, but not really. So, not so far, so there's some pain. We will give the painkiller, which is a patch. There. There's a patch there. Mm. Okay, let me observe first. Wait, wait, I'll go back there again. Okay, observe first here. Yeah. Observation. Only worry is a bone infection. Wait, uh, mm. Can put a bit of weight there. Yeah. So 48 hours of the surgery, putting the pin in, tibia, fibula fracture, right hind, fell down from three stories. Okay, put that there again, one more time. Okay, today is July 19, 2016. This is the third day of the pinning of the right hind leg where the, the bone is fractured. The, tibia and the fibula and at first it was very swollen here because of the the two ends of the bone were poking each other one goes on one goes up like this so we straighten the bone put the pin in and put in yeah and then after we took the x-ray which you saw the x-ray mm -hmm. the pin went in now the thing is after surgery there's one patch here it's called the fentanyl patch this patch has removed five days because it lasts about five days. Okay, so this one, if the owner brings back something, they don't remove this. You see, then, then uh, there might be some infection. Okay, so every day the cat must be confined to a cage so that he doesn't uh, jump too much. Because the pin, now this pin, actually we can see it's actually here. Uh, there's, a, there's a sharp end here. So this sharp end here, it's here under the skin. So if the cat jumps too much at, at the beginning, this pin might poke out. Might come out and then poke there. There, they see the sharp end here, there. At the, at the tibia, at the cranial part of the tibia, this is the pin. So this pin, after six weeks, when we, 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 we pull it out, so because the bones will have healed, the two, the two pieces will have a close up. But now it's only, only three days. So if the cat keep jumping, this pin might might move due to jumping or, or running around, and then uh, there, there's a possibility of infection. It's painful, I know it's painful. Okay, so we need to monitor the cat and give painkillers uh, every day. We should we should uh, okay. we should take temperature, take temperature which I just taken already, and it should be less than thirty nine point five. Uh, this one is thirty eight point seven. This is okay. So we know that there is no infection and based on the cat's uh, appetite, it's eating right? Mm. Eating and then uh, active. Then you can see, he uh, dare to put the leg down a bit. Yeah. So he can, sometimes he can walk in as well. Can you walk in? Uh, he can put the leg down. So it will be seven days minimum. Seven days for any of this uh, pinning or plating of the bone surgery because uh, uh, the, the complication of bone infection is very serious because the cat then uh, then uh, some of the antibodies doesn't work because the bone marrow is infected. And then sometimes you may need to amputate the leg because the, the bone is uh, very infected and very painful. So so the cat. <coughs> Uh, why, why does he jump down? Do you know? Is it the bird? There's a bird there? No, he jumped down? Sure, uh, nobody realized that she... She jumped down mm -hmm. three story. Mm -hmm. Is it due to the... Because she's not sterilized, is it? Is that the reason you're looking for... No, I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> for mate, no. You only found her at the end of the surgery. Yes, yes. 
six. So how many days then you see the bag? Because the thing was very really no, stolen. Hours. Oh, hold it. Hold it. stolen. A few hours. Oh, yeah. well, that means within one or two days. Uh. Uh, because earlier back the, the fracture, the too long the whole, whole, whole uh, muscle there is on inflamed. Break, break, yeah. So at that time, before operation, we can see that this part is this part is very uh, reddish and swollen on this part. But now, as you can see, it's quite heat. Is, there's no, no inflammation. Okay, so we will bring it, put it in a, in in his cage, and then. Uh, we we'll give antibiotics and check every day. Okay. After surgery, to, to put the pin in the tibia, the right tibia, the cat is uh, able to stand and uh, the fentanyl patch is taken off. He will be going home tomorrow. Yeah. So it comes how many days? Six days? Seven days? Mm, seven days. Let's see whether they can turn turn or not. I don't think out here. See it turn. So you come up first to the end, one end of the near the there. Okay, come. See if you can walk by yourself. Put your leg, your leg off your your, your leg. You know. Otherwise, we you see your leg. Here, come. You can you can poop right. You can pass motion right. Yes. You drink and eat appetite. Good. This is a young yes. cat, fell three stories and uh, fractured the tibia and the fibula of the right hind. And. Uh, mm. You can see the pin is put in the tibia and uh, the penal patch is taken out. He's not really keen on walking, but. Uh, Let's see. The end, the other end, the other end. Normally we put the other end there, near the door there. Okay. Okay, we'll see how you walk here. Okay, where can put put weight now? Put weight. The leg is a bit upwards here and there. Toe out, that you call it. Toe outwards. Mm. So the pin has not come up under the skin, it's under the skin. So it's not fully, of course, it's not uh, fully healed yet. So this thing, thing like this, you can see that it, it does, it, it able to put on weight here. Yeah. Come one more time. You have to put towards the door there, the door, the other door. As far away, uh, as far away from me, so you observe that. So the leg seems to be upward. Turn outwards in the leg, the right hind leg. We should go home tomorrow. Uh. Meow. Takes our six weeks yeah, for the healing to come out. Let him walk and see for the healing to to uh, to take out the, the pin. Uh, six weeks later, the pin of the tibia there will be taken out. Yeah. It should be better by then. Definitely can bear weight a bit, a bit of bearing weight here. Yeah. One more time, not facing me. One more time. Mm, uh, come, come, uh, let's see. Much better now, we can bear weight. Yeah. 
compared to the time when he fell down. Seven days ago, he, he couldn't put his foot down. Now this one is a multiple fracture of the tibia in the mid mid shaft. Yeah. Okay. So we 